I enjoy being in spaces that have different scales of detail. So my nightmare is to be in a white box because there's no things that are larger than a wall. There's nothing that's smaller than a wall. Whereas if you go to maybe like a classical uh, room from a couple hundred years ago, you have a wall, you have a wainscoting, you have details at the cornice. There's things that the human body can react to at multiple scales. And I feel the most comfortable in spaces like that. Um, maybe it's because I'm OCD and it gives me a lot of different things to look at, but I'm just not comfortable in abstract spaces. And I think that's why you'll see in my apartment, it's like covered with books. And I, I don't understand those architects that just live in total minimalist boxes or work in minimalist offices. I can't, uh, I can't be creative in that kind of environment. I need more detail. And that doesn't mean it has to be historic detail. I don't need ionic columns or Doric columns. I don't need hand carved ornament, but I like, uh, I like having environments that either have a lot of scale difference to them or have objects within them. Um, just because I think it's it's kind of healthier for the mind to have different kinds of places for the eye to rest. With regards to time, I mean, there's two concepts of time in architecture that are probably the most important. One is how you feel during the duration that you're in a space or a building. And then the other is how your building or space lasts over time. And I would just say, because I know a lot about history, I spent a lot of time reading history and philosophy, that spaces like I'm describing that have multiple scales of resolution embedded within them as pieces of architecture or as rooms tend to be, I don't know if loved is the right word, but valued more by the communities that those buildings are in. And so they last longer. Like people get very upset when you tear down a building like Victoria Station or something, right? But they really wouldn't give a crap if you tore down a kind of modernist box, even if to architects it was important. So I think communities value having objects within them. And by objects, I mean everything from architecture to street furniture that have a kind of complexity that piques their interest. And I think that allows them to want to spend more time as people in those places. But I also think it allows those things a longer longevity within a community because I think people value them over a longer period of time.